internet friends. In today's video, we are gonna be going to Deseret. I haven't been here in a quick minute. The vintage at this location is always so good. So I am so excited about that, but I'm also gonna be on the hunt for some stuff to add to my Poshmark closet. You guys know I'm a reseller, so we are gonna be talking about items that I can sell for a profit, and then hopefully get to keep a couple pieces for myself. So without further ado, Let's get started, but before we jump in, now I know in last week's video, I <laughs> made some pretty big blunders. So I just wanted to point out that I am sticking to what I know, and that is plastic jewelry, because I know absolutely nothing about jewelry. And I'm probably gonna keep it that way. Sorry, you guys. I ended up donating that bag of jewelry to a friend of mine. If you haven't watched last week's video, I mean, no pressure, you don't have to. It was a, it was, it was literally a show. But I did end up donating that bag to a friend of mine that knows a ton about jewelry. She specializes in it, so hopefully, that collection found a good home that she can salvage some pieces out of and has a strong understanding of it. I think that video was honestly a good testament to like people who decide to stick to their niches. They know what they know for a reason because they have spent so much time collecting that knowledge. Anyways, long story short, I won't be doing jewelry anytime soon and I'm definitely sticking to what I know, plastic jewelry. That is like the extent of my knowledge. Okay, anyways, you guys, without further ado, let's go thrifting. <laughs> Okay, so far I have a J. Jill top that is a really good size. It's a 2X, so I think I'm gonna definitely do that one. Um, but then I also found a Rixo dress, but this is again that Target collab. I think I'm gonna pass on this one. As we saw a few videos back, the Rixo for Target line does not sell very well. Okay, I just wanna point out, even though I did pass up on that Rixo dress, I just wanna like, double down on the fact that there are so many Target collabs out there that actually are worth money. I already sold that Love Shack fancy dress that I picked up a few weeks back, but also I picked up this brand Sandy Liang. I had never heard of them before, but the moment I saw the sweater, I was like, oh, this is cute, but it had the little Target symbol on it. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be worth anything. Sure enough, I looked up comps and the comps were great on this brand. So definitely there are still so many bolos out there. I think a lot of times we get really discouraged when we see the target symbol because it just feels like the brand then becomes like overly saturated okay when i say this escalated quickly and escalated quickly i love picking up this brand savannah jane it does pretty well for me it's beautiful embroidery but i can always get like around 20 to 30 bucks on it and oh no well okay so that's a bust but anyways savannah jane pretty good Okay, a while back, I tried on, at the Levi's store, this top on my channel. Well, not this exact top, but it was so similar. It was like black with like a puff shoulder. So it's one of those like, you just gotta wait for it, you know? It'll find you eventually, eventually at the thrift store. Did you guys see what I did? See what I did there? Already rocking it. Okay, these, if they are the right style, like if they have the right design on it, I love picking them up. They normally net me anywhere from like, mm, let's say like 25 to 35. I think I'm seriously gonna take a chance on this because it's the skirt and the vest and vests are having a major moment right now. And so are skirts with like the long maxi style. But I love the print. It's definitely handmade, but it's handmade vintage. So I think I'm gonna give that a shot. I have no idea what that'll go for. I mean, I'd love to imagine like 50, but we'll see. I honestly am super surprised when it comes to vests. I feel like they've been creeping back like slowly but surely. But honestly, this season, I think you're gonna see a ton of the vest trend with just like, that's it. Like just vests as a top. I think that was like a very 90s grunge era vibe. And now it is just making a major comeback. I'm super interested to see where it takes us. But yeah, I think it really plays into the minimalist trend. I think the reason I decided to pick up this two piece set though was because it was just so so out of the ordinary. These seem like they were possibly upcycled from bed sheets, which I love that even more. Like the print on it is just, you know, super interesting, like Western style. This is just a classic Laura Ashley slip. I think I'm hoping like maybe around like 30 or 40, but it's just such a beautiful piece. I love Laura Ashley and that's like the 90s tag. Okay, this is another great example of all of the TikTok trends going on right now, but you have that like 90s grunge era, like witchy vibes going on. Think like the movie Practical Magic. 
this i'm gonna put practical magic in the listing and hope that i get like 30 40 bucks i think this is literally the definition of that trend of the practical magic like witchy vibes i just oh this dress like embodies it i'm here for this neckline everything like this is 90s grunge nostalgia to the max Okay, Sheer is also having such a major moment, and this is like a vintage 90s rampage little number. I am obsessed with it. I think it's gonna do really well. This is another trend that I am seeing all over TikTok. <laughs> Let me first talk about TikTok, you guys. I haven't been on TikTok for the last like year and a half, maybe two years now at this point, but I finally decided to re-download it. So I've been kind of borderline like minor obsessed with finding TikTok trends all of a sudden. For a while, I was just dedicating my time to Pinterest, but I think I have to cave and I have to go where the masses are and say TikTok is where it's at. I mean, don't expect me to start making TikTok videos, but I am having a lot of fun researching trends on TikTok. It is also a little discouraging because I'm not gonna lie, the amount of micro trends that come out of TikTok, I think that was why I was so hesitant to re-download the platform is because I just feel like everything just like breezes by us. Like there is absolutely no time to digest some of these trends and it gets really frustrating. But I do think, from a reseller perspective, from someone who has to constantly know what the trends are, I really do think there's an important element of just knowing like what is what. Like for instance, right now, Diesel is having a major comeback, a major moment. So if you find like 1990s nostalgia, early 2000s nostalgia Diesel, that has a good moneymaker right now. And it's all because of TikTok that I know this, but I am absolutely loving the sheer trend right now. I think sheer's always been in, but it definitely seems to be like a style that people are currently coveting. Okay, the lime green is supposed to be the color for spring, but unfortunately this has a hole in it. Otherwise, I would totally grab this. Vintage Charlotte Russe, super cute, but oh, it is the color too that I'm on the hunt for. Okay, I was really, really hoping this was the Ghani Levi's collection, but it's just the standard Levi's collection. But anything right now with a ruffled collar, I am here for it. If it was in my size, I would definitely be keeping it, but this one's a large, and I think this is gonna do well. The Ghani collection does even better. Can you guys tell I am just uber obsessed with Ghani? <laughs> it's turning into a problem. But this one, I'm hoping for like 20 to 30 bucks. I remember when this season first came out, everything for this was sold out and it was so hard to get your hands on it. But this one, I can't find anything with these patches on it. And I mean, obviously like the hoodies probably aren't gonna do as well as the t-shirts because that's what they wear in the in the show. But this is like, a, like, it has the Netflix and Stranger Things stamped in it. So I don't know, I'm really curious about this one. Comps anywhere from like 25 up to 45. So there was even one for 74, but I don't plan on getting that. Definitely won't be getting any of those to try out. No, no, don't do it, Laura, don't do it. I think this might be one of my favorite finds today and it's legit vintage. Like that is a tried and true vintage label. Gotta love that. But these were having a moment like a few years back, but I feel like, I mean, there's still some love to be had there. And I kind of feel like I picked these up for myself. I don't know, man, we might have a look right there. That is like, preppy core at its finest. Is preppy core even a thing right now? I have no idea. There's too many cores. So I can't keep up with it. I can't say that preppy core is a thing right now. I mean, if anything, like coastal grandmother seems like it's still going on, but I wouldn't quite consider that like preppy core. This honestly reminds me of like something you would see in like maybe the Gossip Girl reboot, which apparently has been canceled. So that's irrelevant to these days. I did absolutely love this sweater though. So many high-end brands have done different variations of this sweater. So I think that was why I didn't even hesitate to pick this up like you can find every variation of this sweater in every price point picking up the vintage version of it to me was just like such a no-brainer and as far as these pants go i think i will definitely be adding these to my personal collection so everything that i'm selling is paying for these pants specifically there's no going out of style when it comes to like high-waisted trouser pants oh yeah I'm here for this look. This is like straight off of the set of Gossip Girl. I believe this is one of those sweaters too that you could do tucked in. 
Untucked, like sky's the limit. Personally, I actually like it untucked. I think this is way more my speed. This one, hands down, grail of the day. This is, holy smokes, I tried. I tore this store apart and I tried so hard to find the pants for this, but the top and the jacket, still happy still still so happy this is beautiful has like one repair mark on it but even the repair mark was done so well like whoever repaired this masterpiece you you win the day but oh my gosh like rayon lurex everything it's got it all i never never like anytime i see that made in india 100 percent rayon it's a winner. It is a winner. But like the bat wing, the sleeves on this. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over it. Cannot get over it. I really cannot hit home enough how important this top is. Like this made my haul. I mean, we're talking years ago now at this point. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I found a gauze set that was like the top and the bottom. And I sold it, I want to say for around $300. Someone actually bought it from me that was going to then try and flip it for $600. So the market that is there for vintage cotton gauze like that is I mean, it is phenomenal. If you find the right pieces, they are just so sought after. And I mean, the further and further out we get from that actual being a decade that we were close to, it just makes the value just continue to go up in my opinion. I think there are definitely vintage dealers that are seeking that style out. I will admit now that I'm not like, you know, as into the vintage world as I once was. When I had a vintage shop, I could definitely command a lot higher price point for items like that. I think now I have come to the realization and observation that I'm selling those pieces to dealers themselves. So I definitely am very well aware of that. I think if I ever decide to go the route of opening up my vintage store again, I would probably focus more on buying high-end pieces like that. But I do think there is still a like middleman market for something like that i do wish that i had found whatever came with that set like obviously it had bottoms to it i don't know if it was a skirt i don't know if it was pants if it was balloon pants oh my gosh that would have like literally brought the value up tenfold <laughs> But long story short, I do absolutely love that piece. I'm so excited about it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. The Lurex detail on it, just everything. It is a masterpiece. And I am so thankful that I found it and I hope it goes off to a really good home. I feel like this is straight out of like a 1970s music video. Like Stevie Nicks, who? Okay, you guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some knowledge out of it. And if you did enjoy this video, I might have a couple other videos you like right here and right here. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.